Hey, how's it going? A couple of days ago, I set myself a challenge to see how far I can get with just a single engineer. In that video, I managed to get to round 140 with the Century Champion. But today, we're doing it with the other two paths. But if you're unfamiliar with the rules, go watch my other video first. Plus, as a quick recap, all pops chimps, other monkeys are allowed, and Geraldo. Okay, let's get right into it. Now this path, I don't really have as much faith in. O for obvious reasons, it's a support path, not a damage path. So the best damage we're probably going to get is from cross-pathing it with sentries. But I definitely need Geraldo this run, so it's probably best to save up for him as early as possible. Because sentries can solo for a really long time. Okay, Geraldo down. Now let's focus on upgrading this guy. Alright, larger surface area. Deconstruction. And now cleansing foam. Probably pop it there. Oh, ah, oh, no. Okay, hopefully that was just Century RNG. Oh, that was a lot closer this time. Maybe one more try. No, always one is always leaking. Probably time to pickle. Not a good sign. At round 22, we need pickles, but well, it has to be done. Now, camo and lead is a uh, absolute breeze this time around because cleansing foam deals with both. But I might go for proper camo detection at some point because these sentries can't see it and it can get pierce capped. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Yeah, it's already struggling with the greens. Yeah, we're. Yep. Pickles. Sharpening stone. Hopefully that'll be enough. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's try that again. Ah, uh, unlucky. I think it's probably time I invested in jungle drums. But I want it as far away from the engineer as possible. Okay, how about let's place it here. I should reach it. Yep. And we can get jungle drums mid-round. There we go, very nice. And thanks to cleansing foam, camo is not a problem. Now, I'm not really going to be bothered dealing with the double discount situation. I don't think we're going to last as long. And we don't really need a mid. So, we're just going to keep it to one village today. Oh, there. Okay. Need another dose of pickles. Maybe a blue gunner. That there. Give it glue splatter so it's strong and sticky. Oh, and stronger glue. That should give me enough. So I'll just turn that into a more glue later. There we go. Nice snipe. Nice snipe. Seems like we're doing a bit of a better job this time. Oh, nice, nice. Now, round 40. We're out of pickles, so we'll give it that. And let's just see if we can survive with just pickles. Oh, no. That isn't good. Can we afford fire spirit? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let's go. Fire spirit for the clutch up. Oh, I've got pickles. Nice. But that is a really bad sign. If I can't pop mobs without the fire spirit, it seems like we need to rely on it just to actually get anywhere. Now, if the rounds allow me, I'll try and save up for an overclock first, because that will definitely boost my DPS. But otherwise, I might need to rely on Geraldo spam, as I'm doing right now. <laughs> Alright, we're 1k off. But it appears we have a camo problem. Look, I can't be bothered getting radar scanner right now, so let's just temporarily give the decamo tower camo detection. Yes, very, very effective. All right, we can afford overclock now. 
Now, hopefully these rounds should be a bit easier. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Now, what are we missing? Oh, yeah, we're missing sharpening stone. And we survived it. Nice. Nice. Look, if this overclock foam is working, I'm just going to keep it. I'll just wait until it gets pierce capped and then I'll get the radar scanner. I want to see actually how well it deals with it overclocked. Because it's something you obviously wouldn't typically do in a game. Just keep repeating the round and eventually you'll be successful. Typical balloons moment. Yeah, I don't think this one's doable. Okay, let's probably give it a relentless. See if that fixes the problem. No, it doesn't. We'll just try with those, because I haven't tried both at the same time. Cool, we're sniping those last ones, and yep. Yeah, these purples are just hard countering the spirit, so we're struggling. But we're doing a bit better this time. Okay, we've got one left. Nice, nice. Okay, now 63. Yeah, it's not looking good. We're not far off. How about... Maybe let's try two totems. And see if that fixes the problem. Yup. Two totems is definitely the call there. Oh, we're still leaking. It's very... Oh, come on. That was so close to working. We just always leak one pink, and then it's just... all over. Okay, I think we're handling it this time. There we go, there we go. Okay, now overclock off cooldown. And round 64 is actually surprisingly a bit better this time. Okay. I thought I would struggle a lot with round 64. But wow, first attempt. Quick ceramic rush. Nearly got to overclock. And we're leaking. I think I think we need to use the last totem in the shop. Okay. Overclock. This time keep an eye on the cooldown so I can get it at the perfect time. And what was there? Just one second. There we go. Now, if this doesn't work, we're kind of screwed. And we probably have to buy Blue Strike. Yeah, this is getting very, very close. We're handling it, though. Okay, now it's just the BFBs. Forgot to overclock. Wasn't paying attention, I was focusing on the BFBs. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. I really hope it doesn't. By the looks of it, it does. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Okay, please. Oh no, that one's leaking. The glue ran out on that one and it's leaking. No, 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 no. Okay, I just can't take it anymore. I'm gonna get a glue strike. It's 
probably possible. I just... I just don't want to. I've had enough. I've had enough. Okay, and hopefully if I time that right, I can use it on the insides. Yep, I can. I think we're fine without it. Just have to wait and see. Yep, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, 70 is coming up too. I might just need to bite the bullet and get radar scanner. Even overclocked foam can't deal with that mass of balloons. Okay, blue strike now. Uh, oh, I forgot. I need to refresh buffs. And we should be fine now. Yep. I'll blue strike once we hit that point there. Because that's the point of no return, really. Yep, now. And we still leak. Okay, we probably need to wait a bit more then. Oh, no, you you got to be kidding me. No, no, don't do it, don't... Oh, lucky snipe. Thank you. Thank you, Sentry. Okay, and the rest should be fine. Blue strike. Terrible time for a blue strike. Why did I do that? Why did I hold it for so long? And then just do it just before the BFPs popped. I don't think that affects us. Yeah, it doesn't. Just need to wait for the first BFP to come out, and then I'll glue strike. Okay. Oh, fuck. And glue strike now. Oh no, oh no. Are we are we getting pierce gapped? Yep, we're getting pierce gapped. Oh well. Probably need to time it slightly better. Right about now. It's a bit later this time, but we'll capture more balloons because of it. There we go, very nice. Now 75. This is gonna be one hell of a round. strike blue strike all right let's get some buffs all right well, we've still got sharpening stone good Eight clock Blue strike. Second glue strike. Over the clock. Um, yeah, no. I need a bit more than that. How about let's use the new synergy? I should, I should have just busted the shot. Okay. We need two totems for 78, and I'm probably not going to budge further from there. Okay. Redo. Overclock the Relentless. Wait for Blue Storm to end. Redo it. Uh, 
and clock again. And we've got another glue storm, we'll just need to wait a bit now. Okay, now we've got enough cooldown. Hopefully. Oh no, we don't. Did we just fuck it? Did we just fuck it? Please no. Okay, we're good. Boom, clutched it up. Such a relief, we've done 75 now. That was definitely the hardest round. Okay, Blue Storm. Maybe better timing. I'll just time it a bit better. Do it a bit earlier so we get the blue storm back earlier. Okay. BFBs. Just wait a sec. And good timing for blue storm. Very good timing for blue storm. And the uptime should be ready for 78. Use the first glue storm there. Overclock. I'll wait for the second wave to come in and then I'll glue storm. Storm. Overclock. Okay, yep, totems are gone. Now, 79. To be honest, I'm not feeling optimistic with this round. Just too many regrows. Yeah, this is not looking good. Okay, what do we have left? Better sharpening stone. That's all we've got. So that. Move the foam back here. And we've got one rejuve. Yeah, I can't use that totem. That totem would probably mess around with things, but... Do I have anything to left to lose? No, probably not. Just put it there though. Okay. Well, blue storm now. Quickly overclock the engineer. Read you. Why was that so delayed? And hopefully we'll have enough DPS. No, we're not doing it. Yeah, I think it's over. Unfortunately, yeah. I tried. I tried. But I think it's over. There's nothing I can really do. But oh well. Let's move to the next run. Now, I've explicitly chosen logs because I will definitely need to do some trap micro. And I want the longest map possible, with the most spots possible. Scrapyard is also an option, but uh, its space is very limiting. Cubism is another good candidate, but uh, I've had enough cubism lately. Don't want to play it again. Now, I like the top path, doing the maths. I have to use Geraldo, but 
to pop leads, I need the trap. So I can't spend anything else other than the Geraldo Camo Pot and the Balloon Trap to be able to survive the first 30 rounds. So, to fill in a bit of time, how is everyone feeling about Balloon's Card Storm at the moment? Look, I was a bit late to it, I played the beta and everything, but I only just got back into it after what's felt like a couple of months. It probably was actually, yeah, it was mid-September when it ended, so... Started grinding, started playing some cards, and yeah, the progression is really, really weird. Like, I like the daily quests and everything, but it's just missing other stuff. Like, BT6, it was just events where you can get bonus rewards and stuff like that. I assume it's in development, but yeah, we kind of need global events and other stuff, other reward options to really, well, just keep the general progression going. Because at this stage, it, it just feels empty. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying play count. I'm not going to talk about play count. Yeah, I know it's a common point of a game's dying when the play count is getting on the low side. I acknowledge that, but it feels dead to play. Like. You don't have emotes, so you can't really interact with your opponent. You don't know what your opponent is feeling, because, like, especially, like, in co-op, even, like, the, the simple introduction of just high emotes and facial emotes, you can at least get someone interact with the people you're playing with. Right here, you don't have any form of emote. I'm not saying, like, monetize it and everything, but, like, just give a basic pack, like... Like... The lack of events and the lack of emotes just makes it feel like a ghost town to play. I enjoy the premise, like, I never played card games, like, literally the only game I've ever played that's card related is Bl is, no, Blue's Card Storm, uh, Adventure Time Card Wars, but its difficulty is baby, basically baby tier. It's only when the CPU starts getting unfair advantages is when the game really gets hard. Back to the main point, I'm just yapping. Oh, we need Blue Trap. 56 bucks though, that's a bit close. But yeah, back to the main point. There's no events, you can't compete against each other beyond duels. And even that, like, most players don't really have a deck going. They've just got, like, some Frankenstein's monster of the original deck. Plus whatever cards they managed to pick up from promo codes in the shop. Mine is exclusive of that, by the way. I've still got the Gwen and Quincy deck, but I've just Frankensteined it. Other than that, though, I still enjoy it. Like, it's balloons, of course. I would at least get some familiarity with the concept, but yeah, it, it still needed a bit of time in the oven. The, be the beta was fine. Like, yeah, there were obviously some broken cards that they fixed, but of course, YouTubers showed the OP-ness. Literally had rounds after rounds, even after it was nerfed, where people were just exclusively using quick ready yellows, quick ready cer double ceramics. Like, it was brutal. I defeated some of them, yeah, but it was like a 50-50 chance whether I had the cards or not to effectively defend it. Now that we have a lot more cards though, it's that combo is very easy to defend. But yeah, despite its gripes as I mentioned before, I'll probably still make a video or two on it. Like, I'm not gonna probably do a full video on it, but... I would do... Oh wait, can we afford... We go for one, and the trap can probably pick up the remains. I'll just drop it down here. Yep. But I'll still play it. Like, I might just do a casual video, even less edited than this. Just me playing it. I'm not the greatest anyway. Like, both, I don't have many cards, and I'm not great at the game. But I still have fun. And the recent nerfs to uh, Growth Gas and uh, Jungle Druid. Yeah. We kind of needed it. <laughs> Because bloody hell, like, I got a couple of OTKs as well, but, like, that was just brutal to play against. Growth Gas was just cancer. I didn't have it, so call me whining all you want, but, like, still, that, that is a pain to go up against if someone managed to get it or crafted it. I'm surprised we lasted this long with just the end in the air. I thought we'd be dead by now, but okay. I think I'll do a single village this time. I don't think it's necessary to do double discount like I did the first time, I was going a bit OCT. And I'll make this one 
a glue hose and when I can afford it I'll make this one a well, glue but yeah I can't I, I can't have been rambling on for a fair few minutes now about the balloons can't storm so let's probably talk about something else yeah I think a good thing to talk about is probably Churchill because the update two I think it was two patches ago oh yeah I need pickles two patches ago yeah that was just a horrific change like Thirding the attack speed for triple damage was just an insane change. A change purely to make Churchill look like a tank. Well, act like a tank. But as a result, his DPS was just... became shizen. Excuse my very poor German. It's just... it became painful to play with, but when 45 dropped, I, I gave him another chance. I played him on the new map. And surprisingly enough, he was actually quite good. He's not top tier, he's like still well below a lot of stuff, especially like this guy up here. <laughs> but he surprised me. The machine gun is now actually a lot more reliable. It's like semi-auto or even a full auto sniper just attached to the hero along with a powerful cannon. And armor piercing shells is not a joke ability. It's actually quite spammable and really good for ceramics. Like, of course, yeah, it's got a ceramic bonus, but like 63, it just mowed through it. It just needed a bit of extra blue support and stuff like that and running him with energizer is just amazing like he is the hero for energizer because of course his leveling speed is the slowest in the game but also you get him down so late that he's already at a pretty low level to begin with like without paying money even with energizer it's almost impossible unless you're on an expert map to max him out by around 100 so maybe i might make a video of him at some point because so i was putting him off because, yeah, there's, there is a Churchill fan club, and my opinion on him, it was fairly poor before then. Because I like playing most heroes, it's just some of them aren't fun to play. Corvus is one of them, as you might have heard in my video. It's just, yes, he's good, but it's just not fun. Well, yeah, sorry I sound like I'm rambling, but... It's just me talking about a bunch of random different topics while I do the last game. And somehow I'm performing a lot better this time, despite forgetting to put every single buff every single time. I only just noticed I wasn't killing the Moabs then. Pro BTD play moment. Okay, 63. Wrong one. Yep, cool. I'll be targeted there, that's what I wanted it to do. Okay, I might need to put it over there to catch all the ceramics. It's very long reload time. Most of those ceramics just slipped on through, great. Because each trap can only hold five ceramics worth of RBE, so... Most of the damage is coming from this fire spirit over here, or else this run wouldn't be possible. Come on, come on. Please pass through, please pass through. Oh, I should have put it there. Ah, oh, damn it. it. It's doable. It's at least it's doable. That's the thing I wanted to know. Uh, that was very close, though. Even though it didn't look like it. We had most of the ceramics dealt with. Probably need to place these. I'll probably place three this time. No, probably two is possible, but I don't want to be here all day. Bro recorded like six hours worth of footage today because i recorded these other two simultaneously no not simultaneously what am i thinking a multitasker no i recorded these sequentially one after the other it's about to leak so we need to probably keep it there oh come on the reload time of that is so incredibly painful i think i might just glue strike Retire some Sklu Shrike. Don't want to be here all day. Because, yeah, I did I did all these sequentially. I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> when I'm tired, I talk more, but... I ramble more, but... Sounds a whole lot less entertaining when I'm stuck on the same bloody round because I'm making the same critical errors. I'm actually handling it a bit better this time. Probably putting them all in the same location just really helped with the... I'll probably drop it down here.
I think that's the final wave that just went through. So I'll glue stroke it all now. That extra slow is insane. Because the ones it's not touching is significantly reducing their progress, even though it only lasts for three layers instead of infinite with the top cross path. I just value that slow a whole lot more. Even though Infinite Pierce has its uses, especially with this round. This round specifically benefits a lot from the top cross path, but I just like the general usability of the bottom cross path, so I just always use it. I'll try and save money now to get up to XXL Trap, but at this rate, yeah, probably not. I did try some other sort of run like a couple of months back, and I couldn't. I literally couldn't. I got stuck on round 79. It was just too many regrows, and I couldn't afford XXL Trap. Hopefully this isn't a repeat of the events, but uh, this thing wasn't changed too much since the last time I did it, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, how's Geraldo doing? Still zero pops, good. I would have had a heart attack if he had even one. So that means I had to redo this whole run. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Oh no, oh no. I don't think even Fire Spirit and Pickles can save me from that. Oh, that's horrendous. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Remember to do buffs. Oh, wow, we're at 73 already. Wow, I've been rambling for a long time. Seems like time flies when you're just talking. Alright, 75. This is going to be the painful round. And we're also at exactly $37,000 in cash. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Not intentional whatsoever. Now we're we missing any buffs. I think. You know what? Where's. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. You have been driving. You're so good, Geraldo, but you're driving me insane. So maybe. Yeah, I might fuck myself over in 76, but whatever. I just wanted to see, because this was really effective last time. Oh, yeah, I poorly guessed that. Well, this is. This is going to be the most painful part of the round. I actually have to micro. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's always a fucking pink, isn't it? It's always a bloody fucking pink. I've gone dreadfully silent since round 75 dropped. It's getting concerning. Oh, yeah, and in my overclock. Okay, I think I've got it. Just need one more trap here. And I think we're safe. I'll, I'll glue strike it just to be safe. Yep. Okay, now we've just got one left. Please pop every Moab. strike. Okay. While I did manage to get all the way to round 79 with an overclock, I wasn't really too happy that I used it. So a couple of hours later, I redid the run, and I managed to get this. No fucking way. We actually did it. I don't care. I know they're a problem, but they're strategically placed, so hopefully it won't create a regrow farm. It'll just take a little longer. Another use. And we're golden. Jesus Christ. Oh, that clutch trap saved me. About to expire though, so hopefully we pop those in front of it. There we go, nice. First shot too. Can't believe it. Let it burn. 
let it burn. Yeah, we're still 10k off. And we've kind of created a regrow farm. Yup. So we have to use the shop. I'll try one more ditch effort with Blue Storm. But otherwise I think we're cooked. Even with that we can't get through all the regrows. And then immediately use the ability of cooldown. Which is that now? Yep. Did we seriously beat it? No way. But I essentially just spent all my money doing so. Uh, that's not good. Well, it's worth a try. I think I'm hard capped here. I want the Super Serum to come next round anyway. I'm kind of toast. Now, I don't know where it will pop, so I'll just put it there for now. Okay. That's, we've still got a decent amount of track left. I think it'll pop around about here. So I'll leave it there. Okay, glue storm. Move the trap forward a bit. Try and keep it in the center. And round 81. All right. I think we're cooked. Super ceramics are no joke. Just need it there. Ah, oh, I missed. No, not really, actually. Need an extra trip around about there, I think. Went a bit further. No, we need it all the way at the back now. Now we might need a glue. Yep, we need glue. It's a bit too late for the glue though. Okay. Okay, round 81 done. This glue storm is clutch as... Put it over here. We'll test it this time. But I don't know how long I can do this for. Because we've got a bunch of fortified bear phases around, so we're probably cooked. Yeah, if I marker it a bit better, I think I would have survived that. Because it's only a few fortifieds left. Imagine if we could use sharpening stone though, that would just be amazing. Yeah, that was worse than last time. There we go, nice. That might save me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I think we're toast. Yeah, we're toast. Back to the original attempt. Worth of limps, but... Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Unfortunately, even after two tries, no dice. But it's going to happen at some point. And Triple XL Trap was well off the menu ages ago. But otherwise, that concludes the mini series of sorts. And that was two videos long, but whatever. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know in the comments. But otherwise, see you all later. Bye.